I am getting ready to draw up, actually I've already started drawing up the a CAD file for the, the ceiling to automatically cut out the holes for the lights and for the, uh, the squirrel cage fan um, out of the ceiling and locate those holes and then also uh, cut a notch out for the ductwork to actually cut it out of, of the larger sheet. So um, I'm going to cut that all out on the CNC plasma table and so I'm just going to, I'm using DraftSite which is uh, through Dassault, uh, D-A-S-S-A-U-L-T, they make jet airplanes also. Um, um, so anyway, I'm going to show you just kind of an intro to to draft site and just putting some real basic stuff on here. Um, I've already got this notch right there for the uh, ductwork. So I'm going to put a circle at, we'll go ahead and just do a circle here. It's a specified center point and I want it at 24 uh, 7. So you just center the coordinates and this is in inches so it puts a circle centered there and then it'll ask me what the radius I want and it's going to be a six and a half inch hole for that squirrel cage motor uh, so I'm going to put three and a quarter for the radius and so there's my hole for the fan and then I need two for the lights and so if I hit the up key it gives me the the circle the command down there again I hit enter and I want these to be at uh, 29 and a quarter no I'm sorry 12 29 and a quarter and these are going to be I'm going to make them 6.1 so 3.05 radius holes and then I'm going to do one at uh, 24 and 29 and a quarter. And again, like that. And um, then all I need is a line. For the cutoff, and so I'm just going to do that. What is that tool actually called? Line Creative, uh, and I need it at zero forty-eight to uh, forty-eight forty-eight. that is the uh, dimension that I'm looking for there so basically I have a sheet of I have a sheet of 18 gauge steel that I'm going to cut this out of and it's four feet wide so I just need this notch this will be the bottom will be the edge of the material and I'll just cut this notch these circles and then and then cut it off from the rest of the material up there. So that's all I needed to do um, for the drawing here. And so uh, next, I'll show you the the cat or the uh, cam side of it where I use sheet cam. All right. So now I've got sheet cam opened up, and so I can uh, just hit uh, file, import drawing, my drawings, and I want to do it. DXF file. I saved the this CAD file as DXF, and oven ceiling is what I called that file. And I want it in inches. Okay. So I can already see um, I want to rotate it, but first I'm going to change the some layers. And you can do this in the CAD program also, but sometimes it works better than others um, like it doesn't import layers very well from uh, from Inkscape so I just get out of the habit I just get in the habit of doing it 
in the cam program. So, um, so I'm going to have one layer. So you hit the C up here for edit contours, and then you can box select the contours that you want to change the layer of. And uh, I'm going to create a new layer and call it circles. So now all, all three of those are in the layer circle. Um, and I'm going to move this and um, I'm going to call it notch. And this one, cut off. And you'll see why we do that in a second. If you hit this button, it goes into the what it's called the nesting mode, and then uh, period and comma rotate. You can vary the amount that you want it to rotate there, but I just uh, I don't know what I've got it set at, but uh, just pound it through there. And so, all right, so now we can set up our start setting up our operations. Um, and really, I'm most concerned about the holes. So uh, I'm going to do those first, and so I'm going to go Operation Plasma Cut, uh, Inside Offset for the Curve Layer um, Circles, and I'm going to go a little slower, say 70 inches a minute, do a two, in two tenths of an inch arc to lead in, and now you can see it's... Um, Let's program that cut, and and you can see the lead in here, and it's offset. The green is inset from the actual contour, so that the the radius of the finished cut will be correct. So, so then um, I actually think I might do these these other cuts um, manually instead of using the CAD just because I have a little more control over where the material actually is on the table and um, so I can show you how I do that in the next segment. Okay so now I need to set up my material I can go to options job options material and coordinates I'm just going to say that its size is 48 by 48. It's not actually, but that's what I'm going to say. And we said that the the end of it was at 97. So we wanted it at 49, right? Whoa. Not 499. 49. And perfect, yeah, that looks that looks right. And so okay, and then I can just move this over till the line lines up with the edge of the material. And now everything should be placed exactly right, exactly right for where the material is actually at. So those holes will be in the right place, and then um, then I'll just manually do these straight line cuts with a really basic G-code file that uh, that I've got already loaded up on there that I just changed the coordinates. So, okay, yeah, so now we just run the post-processor. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it oven ceiling dot NGC. Okay, so now I got my thumb drive, I'm gonna plug it in over here into the Linux CNC machine. I used to have this set up uh, with a network so I could plug the network cable in and just move the files over. I think it was causing some gremlins. So I stopped doing that. I just went back to the thumb drive and uh, and things have been working better since then. Um, so now I'm just going to move the uh, in the G-code file that I just made in uh, sheet cam onto the desktop over here. We'll go file, open, up a couple of directories, three directories, desktop, oven ceiling. Okay, and then you can see here I've got my three holes, which is all I wanted cut at this point. Increase that a little bit. I'm going to raise the 
Z for the travel here. I haven't, the plasma cutter's not on. I just wanna do a dry run here and, and uh, check the positioning that I've got. And, but I'll go ahead and hit play and we'll see, make sure the torch isn't gonna run into anything. I don't know enough to know why it gives me this error all the time, but it does and I say run anyway and insert tool one it's set and so now it's doing the rapid 400 inches a minute out to the start of the first cut and that's the pierce delay so Wow. So it's rapiding through these cuts. Um, it doesn't actually cut that fast. So I need to go look at my tool settings apparently. It would be cool if it cut that fast, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna go change that setting and then we'll try it again. That's more like it. So I've got the plasma cutter on now, and uh, I forgot to mention the torch height control. So I'm gonna cut this at 114 volts for the height control. Um, so I have to hit the arrows or it doesn't actually enter in the, the correct voltage. But I can tell that it's working because, uh, or at least it's getting input because the needle here is bouncing around a little bit. So I know that's that's uh, that should work. So so yeah, we should be ready to ready to cut here. I've got the ground on. The feed override is zero, or is it normal 100%? And so we're all set here. I'm gonna get my glass on. So just hit play. Exceeds the minimum. Here we go. So obviously that's not how that's supposed to go. So I'll look at the plasma torch for errors. See what we're up against. So yeah, I reset the uh, the cable that goes between the control box and the plasma cutter. I just reseated that cable and it fired. So I don't know if I've got a a pin that's working loose in there or or what's going on there. I'm gonna to have to investigate that a little more. But um, I did get the holes cut and I'm getting ready to um, cut the notch now. So I've got a file that I call remnant because I use it to cut off little scraps of metal. Basically I told it to go 11 inches this side of uh, the edge and at the corner of the notch that I want and I'm going to tell it to go to 97 which is the end of the material so we'll save that and reload it over here and then you can see I've got one line out of my notch there the plasma cutter's turned off so it's safe and I'm just gonna test it and see how that lines up on the material. See, it goes down and it finds the material, waits for the torch to fire, or five seconds, whichever happens first, and then does whatever the code tells it to do. All right, so that looks like exactly what we want it to do. So I'm gonna turn the plasma cutter on and uh, hopefully it'll work this time.
got this laid out here now and got the light holes placed just like that and uh, the fans gonna go in here drill some holes and mount that I'm pretty much done for the night it's it's 6 15 in the morning hopefully this helps somebody somewhere along the way thanks again for watching